How's it going guys? It's Cole from See Through Panel showing off Ancestor by Matt Sheehan and Malachi Ward, published by Image Comics, retailing for $14.99 and originally serialized in the anthology Island by Image. Before I get too deep, I'm not going to be spoiling anything explicitly, but this book is both simple and complex at the same time, and by that I mean me saying one simple thing can really have... Um, uh, an effect on your perception of the book so I think it's best read first and talked about after so I'm going to be pretty vague here just talk about some general themes and things like that that I think are important but that don't spoil a lot of the book but I will say getting past the halfway mark on this review that's going to be spoiler, t spoiler territory because of the art so if you're really worried about that and I, I really do think you should read this for yourself and come back after um, it's really that different of a book from my usual reviews that I think uh yeah just grab this it's really really cheap compared to a lot of things you can grab in terms of comics and it's really really nice and a fantastic reading experience anyway I got this at the beginning of March I read it the first week of March and then I raved about it a bit in my March haul video um it is written and drawn by Matt Sheehan and Malachi Ward that's them sharing writing drawing and coloring. Uh, I believe Malachi Ward inks it, but they both uh, machine pencils and Malachi Ward inks it. So, starting off here, I'm not sure if you can tell from the video. I hope you can. You can hear it for sure. Very matte, toothy paper. Very inter Even on the cover, you can tell it's matte. It stands out a lot from a lot of in image trade paperbacks. This book is about a, I won't say near future, but a future that's not too distant. Um, where instead of kind of cell phones and social media and all the things we have now, we have this um, wavy kind of thing going around his head here. Essentially a computer that's built into your brain, into your nervous system, into your body, and kind of allows you to be constantly fed information and do certain things. You can cede control of your motor control to, like, do a bartender app where you're really good at making drinks. And this is a first-person view from our main character. With all this constantly, just static, really. Just constantly in his face. Probably makes it very hard to think. And our main character suffers from anxiety. He has panic attacks. That isn't a huge part of the story, but I think thematically it's very important. Even though it's not used super um, heavily in the story, I think it's used perfectly where... It doesn't need to be about his he is not a person with anxiety he is a person who deals with anxiety and the things that happen are not directly related to or because of that anxiety but they do affect um, each other and um, we basically have a bunch of work friends going out to a party with a very eccentric um, kind of rich figure I'm not sure if he's a millionaire billionaire um, and when they get to the place service is out they call it the service that's their kind of uh, all this wispy stuff. And also this is just a phenomenal way of portraying just the overstimulation that the service or Twitter or whatever you want to say uh, provides. And as soon as it's out, people start freaking out. But um, our main character finds it rather pleasant at times. Um, it's worrying for sure, but he finds it rather pleasant. And... Um, Everyone reacts differently, and I'm already going way too in-depth with this. I need to be a bit quicker, but here is some art before we get too deep. Their style is very indie. It's very, um, I don't even want to say loose, but it very much has a kind of indie flair to it. It's not something you're going to see in DC and things like that. But for indie artists, sometimes you expect some hiccups on maybe perspective or anatomy or um, just storytelling in terms of the layouts. That is never a problem here. Uh, Matt and Malachi are um, very much accomplished artists from what I can tell. I've not read much by them at all besides this, and I've looked at some other things they've done. Perspective, anatomy, storytelling, never an issue. Um, They're very good at conveying what they want you to convey. And I'm also noticing in my video that the colors are kind of washed out. This is kind of a bright pinkish purple. And for me, it's looking like salmon. I don't know how that works, but um, just a couple more views of some art here. And this is where I'm going to stop talking about the story. It's a, it's a, it's a, the story takes place at a party with this service that's out. makes everyone more on edge, but also some people get kind of more easygoing. 
And this is where I would stop if you do not want to be spoiled about the main uh, part of the book. Um, before I get into that, I do want to say I think this is super clever. You can maybe see the borders of every page are color-coded, going from this bright pink, it looks white on my video, it's pink, I promise, and kind of going into yellows. And then here's a, like, between issues they would have these, this was serialized, so between like different fragments of the story they have these, but it's really seamless and it just is kind of something to look at and maybe analyze, but it does not break up the story in any meaningful way. It's basically an original graphic novel from the way it reads. Um, going from the yellows to the purple, or to the oranges. Um, our guy, our host is maybe not completely off the service as it, he wants everyone to think. Going to a dark, dark red and fading to a black. And this is where I can really stop talking. Uh, I'm just going to flip to some pages. These may be uh, spoilery if you're not uh, planning to read this yourself. This is fine, but I think this really affects the story going forward. Um, without explaining things, it gets a little weird. As you can see, this crazy looking character here. Here is the kind of climax of the first act, I would say. And I can't say much about the rest of it because I don't want to completely ruin everything for everybody, but I'm sure you may have noticed, or I'm sure you will notice here, going into the final issue, we have gotten rid of the borders on the sides. There is no longer any borders. See here how the art ends at the very, very end of the page, whereas before we had these borders across. Very much more open. You can breathe a little bit more. The layouts have changed quite a bit. There is no gaps between panels. In terms of the art and the subject matter of the art, things have changed rapidly, I'm sure you can tell. But although it essentially is much less human than the first act, this final act very much rings true um, emotionally for me, and I think it works super, super well. And I can't talk much about that, but I think this book is awesome. I'm sorry I had to be so cryptic about it. It's about anxiety. It's about transhumanism. It's about the singularity. It's about um, kind of letting go of all these things like the service, uh, which would basically just be, you know, social media, the constant inflow of information that we um, yearn for uh, now. And this has a lot to say about that. It also has a lot to say about art, I think, in a, in a broad sense, and uh, the ending is just absolutely insane to me. The transhuman element really kind of goes crazy. And you can see the art's a lot different, like, just in terms of subject matter. The style really hasn't changed, but in terms of subject matter, we are cosmic. And that is very much important and something that you kind of fall into and get used to pretty quickly. Although the first was the first act, the first three out of four issues is about a party. Um, yeah, I have not much more to say about this. Uh, sorry if I was a little cryptic. If I need to be less vague, if you guys don't care about spoilers and stuff like that, just let me know in the comments and I'll just straight up tell you something like this next time. I'll just tell you what it's about. Um, but for now, I didn't really feel like doing that because I've never heard anything about this book even on like the subreddits and on the internet and and stuff. Uh, I've never heard anything about it and I think it's phenomenal, uh, phenomenal. And Matt Sheen and Malachi Ward, I hope it's, is it Sheen or Sheen? Um, I've been saying half and half. They're two fantastic artists and I know that Malachi Ward and possibly Matt Sheen with him, definitely Ward, are gonna be working on Black Hammer with Jeff Lemire. So that's just a huge uh, step up for them, I hope, in terms of their careers because I think they're very very good at this medium and i really really want to see more stuff like ancestors so if you've read this let me know uh i really want to talk to some people that have read it because i've not interacted with anyone that's read it when i talked about it in the march hall 
some people were saying that they had read it, so I would love to hear from them uh, what they think this is about and uh, just kind of cross-examine how we felt about it. So thanks a lot for watching and listening to me rant, guys. Peace.